Longevity's leaders are smart, dedicated, they fully embrace the mission, and likewise, they fully embrace the uh, legal uh, aspects that are necessary to keep the company a vibrant and strong company. I first became involved with Longevity when Steve Waller contacted me, asking me to represent the company on claims issues. It was shortly thereafter that I met Dr. Joel Wallach and I was struck by the power of his personality and by his convictions. I don't represent a client unless I'm in agreement with what they're doing and I pursue their interests as vigorously as possible. Hello, Jonathan E. Moore. There have been cases where Longevity has fought the government because the government has censored truthful information, health information. Longevity and Dr. Wallach have been very powerful supporters of efforts to defend the communication of information. For example, we fought the FDA's censorship of the folic acid neural tube defect claim. 400 to 800 micrograms of folic acid taken daily by women of childbearing age reduces women's risk of a neural tube defect birth by 40 to 80 percent and that's enormously beneficial to the world and that's all because of this kind of relentless effort Longevity has supported to uh, fight government censorship that costs lives you know that's an enormous achievement I love these people. They're great people. You can find no more compassionate and sincere body of folks. And I'm humbled by their praise. And uh, I look forward to the years to come. Jonathan Emord and his beautiful wife, Cheryl Morley, ambassador for Longevity. Jonathan, why don't you say a few words? Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, everybody. What a, what a tremendous honor it is to be able to receive an award like this. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, I think I've been representing Longevity for almost 20 years now, and it is a company that I've watched grow enormously over those 20 years. Not just uh, in size, the number of distributors, but also in its mission. And Dr. Wallach always had this vision that was not only the Earth, but basically so big that it could enter the stratosphere and into the universe. I mean, he does, he's an indefatigable fighter for what is right, for transforming the world so that we can uplift people's health and enable them in the process to actually become uh, wealthy in the process. But uh, that mission could only be fulfilled in the way he's doing it if the person who's doing that, is promoting it, is indefatigable, tireless, and fully committed. It can't be that when he's tired, he can't get up to give a speech. He has to give, up, give a speech anyway. It can't be that when he's tired, he can't meet with people because to fulfill this mission, he has to meet with people even if he's tired. On the rare chance that he might get sick, he still has to get up and the next day do the work. So it's that fire and passion in Dr. Wallach that drove this whole company into the state it is today. And it's a magnificent company. You have a very precious gem here. Because you have excellent management, Dave, Steve, Michelle, you have excellent management that is intensely concerned about the welfare of all of you. And then you have Dr. Wallach, who since he was a boy has tried to figure out why it is that animals get perfect nutrition and we work desperately to make sure that they live long but why didn't we do the same thing with people and Dr. Wallach didn't understand that problem and he went about to solve it way before nutri the nutrition revolution which he helped cause in this country and in the world so that's why it's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be a part of this mission, and it's been a great uh, privilege to defend the, your interests and in this company against those who might wish to do you harm. 
and also to try to liberate us from efforts by the federal government to censor truthful information that can enable people to take charge of their own lives, not be dependent upon the pharmaceutical industry, but to safely achieve health through nutrition. Thank you very much. Cheryl has to say one thing, cut the music, or I'm going to wear more jewelry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I just wanted you to know that I just absolutely love my husband, and I think it's so great that um, he's been honored with this award. And one more thing. You guys know how I said that um, I hate to lose? We are all so lucky because he loves to win. Yeah. <laughs> Shut down.